Hey guys, welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back again to the channel. There's your home for tech toys and talk. And of course, the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. Welcome back again for another episode of Dimension Tech. What is Dimension Tech? Well, it's our series of videos. Whenever we're talking about anything tech related, whether it's video games, online, internet, PC building, well, that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Uh, of course, if you've been following the channel, you know I've been on Project Grid, which is our new PC that we're building. We're actually using the Fantex NV5 uh, PC case. It is such a beautifully made case. I mean, it's beautiful just looking at it. The interior, exterior designs, the accessibility, uh, and the user friendliness of the case itself is just mind boggling. And I haven't even started putting components into it yet. It is just, I know this sounds crazy, but it is chef's kiss. It is a work of art. Uh, recently, we also uh, finally got our uh, motherboard in. We're rocking the uh, Aorus 790. So I can't wait to build in that. We're still waiting for the processor to come in. Otherwise, we would start putting it in the case. But we got the power supply in. Yes, that is right. We got the MSI. The MSI RB. Or, sorry. A50G PSI5. This is a game. This is a gaming powerhouse. 850 watt ATX 3.0 com compatible PCIe 5.0 ready. Guys, let's just open this up. Stop talking. Let's just open this up. I mean, this is a massive box. I was like, I actually had some concern. Like, wait a minute, am I even going to be able to fit this in the computer? But then I'm like, wait a minute, there's wires inside, Dave. There are wires inside. Don't worry. That's probably why this box is so big and also protecting it. Now, this is a modular power supply. Modular meaning that literally, unlike the old school power supplies of way back when, where the wi wires were just part of the box, you can pick and choose and go with different cables and wires. It's modular. You can modify it. Get the plastic right off, guys. I mean, I gotta say this: the presentation of the box, too. I mean, um, you know, nothing against Corsair because I know they love their do their their uh, yellow and black, but this black box with the purple accents and the white lettering on here looks fantastic. So if we can figure out how to open this up, there we go. So, of course, we got our little crystal packets. Keep it away from the pets and the kids. What do we got here? Installation tips of 12 volts. Uh, okay. okay. Basically giving us little tips on cables. Fully insert cable before use. Well, yeah, we're not going to... Oh, dang. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, they gave us a nice little bag for... Uh, for all of our cables. Now, of course, our exterior uh, power cord, of course. But uh, all of our assorted modular cabling is right here. And they put it in a bag, but then we get this nice little case here. So if you don't use all the wires, you can just stow them. Or if you use some other wiring, that's pretty cool right there. We got the MSI uh, logo right there. That is pretty damn awesome right there, guys. All right, plenty of foam protecting the power supply itself. There we go. Now, there are white power supplies I could have gone, gone with. But, I mean, unless you're looking at the back of the PC, you're not really going to see the color of the power supply. There you go. Okay, we got our uh, zero fan on here. So we got a nice good size fan right there. Well, we got a little power button right there for the 
fan and there's our modular ports right there give you guys a nice look sorry I'm holding it upside down there you go I cannot wait I've been saying this constantly about the uh, project grid and with the NV5 the Fantex case that I just cannot wait to build I can't I mean I literally can't but I have to I have to wait because well we don't have all the parts in yet if there's any trickies out there if you ever saw Star Trek Generations right in the beginning when Kirk and the veterans are on board the Enterprise B they're with the news crew and media there's an emergency and the captain and the actual captain of the ship says well we we can't we don't we don't have this we don't have that oh it's gonna be here tuesday it's gonna be here wednesday you know and, and that's kind of like the running joke in the beginning of the movie that's kind of like this build right now we have a case we have a motherboard we have a power supply uh we have cable ties guess what we don't have we don't have everything else we don't have the pro well the processor is going to be here want to say thursday or friday uh i am also going to have uh well by then we're going to have ram we're going to have the processor as i just said we're going to have the m.2 i went with a two terabyte m.2 drive um we have all we have all the fans are going to be here by Friday as well. Then uh, next week, uh, next weekend, I think Sunday or Monday, we're going to be getting the uh, graphics card. I went with a forty seventy a uh, Galax forty seventy EX. Uh, it's a nice white, uh, white three fan uh, graphics card that oh, it's just going to be so beautiful. I'm I just can't wait for you guys to see all the parts. Uh, but yeah, we, here we are. We got this big mamma jamma, 80 plus gold rating, 850 watt. We should be good. Uh, cause I went through all the numbers. We don't need a thousand watt. A thousand watt would definitely make it more future proof, but I'm loving, I'm loving how everything is turning out so far. Everything looks so fantastic. It's always fun. Now, even though I'm a toy collector, I gotta be honest. I am so jazzed. And excited for this build like you guys have no idea uh, again we're using the Fantex and uh, V5 you'll see that right there and uh, it's I mean it's a budget it's budget it's like $99 it's like 90 well it's like 109 the white variants but if you go on Newegg Newegg has a coupon so they'll knock it down to $99 and I mean just just the design of it it looks so fantastic the Aorus 790 Aorus Pro X gaming motherboard, which does have Wi-Fi capability. Uh, just the i7-14700 20-core processor. I'm, going, I'm coming from a 4-core processor to a 20-core. That gives you some idea of the, you know, just the quantum leap in, uh, in accessibility and capabilities that we're jumping to. Graphics card currently is a 970. We're going to a 4070. Literally, leaps and bounds, guys. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. By the way, that reminds me, guys. If you enjoy this video, it's just a quick little unbox. Showing what we're rocking with. Where we're going to be moving forward with. Uh, a very sleek, very cool looking power supply. Even though nobody's really going to see it. A nice large fan for ventilation on it. I, I cannot wait. I just cannot wait to get it get everything all rolled up. Now I am still looking for a few accessories. I'm looking at I'm looking at possible monitor replacements. All of my monitors are like 60 or 75 hertz. 27 inch, but I want to replace those. I want something with uh, higher refresh rate, especially for gaming. I am thinking of going ultra wide because of editing. Because when it comes to live streams and editing editing, I just think that makes more sense. Uh, but who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens. I am looking for to get a possibly a white gaming uh, keyboard and mouse. 
I mean, I have the Death Adder version 2 uh, Razor mouse. It's an okay mouse, but I've been having some issues with it lately. And we have a Razor keyboard, but I since we're going with the white computer, I'm going to be getting a brand new white desk very soon. Uh, kind of going for, for the clean white aesthetic, you know. It's kind of the thing right now. I know all the gamers are doing it, so why not me? But guys, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, guys, always feel free to reach out to me at davesdimension78 at gmail.com or message me on Instagram at daves underscore dimension. And please don't forget the Ride for Roswell later this year. We're going to be doing our big stream, our stream for the Cure fundraiser. Stay tuned to the channel for more details and updates. But guys, until next time, you know what I'm going to say. I say it every single time. Keep on busting, and I'm always going to catch you on the flip side. Take care.